So now, do you understand how I said that you have to learn how to watch, stand back and watch thought parade by? Here are the foolish arguments of people without even letting them register. Do you understand? So when you have this meditative stance, when you practice the meditation, it gives you a little bit of mental distance. This little bit of distance where your soul is the observer, that's actually what he was talking about, what Hezekiah was talking about. He said, watchfulness is the continual fixing and halting of thought at the entrance to the heart. Do you understand? So, here's a classic example. You go to a grocery store, and there's a magazine there with the naughty picture on the front cover. Okay, so there it is. You couldn't help but see it. There it was, right in front of you. So there it was. And now, later, all of a sudden, that naughty picture comes back to your mind. Do you understand? Do you see? Now, were you wrong for seeing that picture? No. Are you wrong for it coming back into your mind again? No. So you don't have to feel guilty for seeing it. You don't have to have feel guilty for that thought flitting through your mind. All kinds of thoughts will flit to your mind. Mean thoughts, revenge thoughts, naughty thoughts, improper thoughts, silly thoughts. All kinds of thoughts will flit through, and you're not guilty for those, for those thoughts flitting through your mind. You only guilt. You only will acquire guilt should you attempt to use the thought, for example, to escape. I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say you really should have a talk with your partner or with your child about something, or you have some responsibility, something that you should do, that you should intend to do properly. And instead, you escape on a daydream of fantasy with the naughty image. Do you see how that, that after that, can you see how you'll come up feeling, feeling um, sullied? You know, it's like mud wrestling. If you get into a mud wrestling match with someone, you're going to come up all covered with mud, aren't you? So if you float away with those thoughts, whatever, whatever they are, then you're going to come up feeling yucky. See what I mean? Now, understand this. Understand this. It's not the thought that's wrong. So you mustn't, it's not the thought that makes you wrong. It's the struggling with it or floating away with it. See, or resenting it. So any involvement, if you resent yourself, if you start saying, oh, I'm no good, I'm terrible, I'm blah, blah, blah. See, you're just falling into more, into more thoughts. Where'd they come from? Who knows? Just let them go by. Don't pay them any mind. Don't struggle with the thoughts on the one hand. Don't give in and float away with them on the other. Just stand back and watch. You understand? This mental distance that you get from meditation, it comes naturally. It gives you the proper perspective. And in that way, you are guarding your heart. You understand? So now do you begin to see how you can have a rather pure heart even if there's a naughty thought flitting through your mind? Can you see how you can have a rather pure heart, even if a, a thought of getting even with someone, or a jealous thought, or a hateful thought, see, flits through your mind? Can you see? And can you see how you can have a rather pure heart if a doubt thought flits through your mind, the thought that says to you, well, you're no good, God doesn't care, what's the use trying, blah, 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 see? Just let, him, let those thoughts flip by. They're not your thoughts. Who knows where they came from? But just let them go by without, without paying them any mind. Yes, they may be at times a bit troubling. Yes, okay, so a little trouble, but don't struggle with them. Just... Watch them and let them go, okay?